My father was in India and that's how we met my mother in a restaurant. My mother was serving there and he saw her and fell in love at first sight and just returned all the time to the restaurant and stayed there until they closed. And my mom felt sorry for my dad because he was so thin and sick and he always made, she made like extra soup for him and she was wondering what this white guy, this tall white guy, this Inji, that's how we call the white people, um, is doing there. She didn't understand that he's in love with her and that he will return all the time and, and you know, at the end to, to propose. And, but my dad also knew that it's not going to go directly through my mom. He has to go through my grandmother and ask for the hand of her daughter. And that was um, not so easy because my grandmother is a religious person. And normally at that time in the 70s, Tibetans never mixed with other ethnicities. So it was kind of like, it was you know, my mom would marry a Tibetan man. Until my parents married, it took about a year. And um, my dad had to leave India and he was really sad. He went to Switzerland and they, at that time there was no email so he was writing letters and letters and every day my mom got a new letter from Switzerland and she was like very lazy kind of like writing back and then and one day she wrote him back, please don't write me anymore. Only write me when it's really important because people start talking. And he just didn't listen, he continued writing and then a year later he came back and at the end they were able to marry and come to Switzerland. But he also knew that if he marries my mom, he's going to marry two women, it's my grandmother and my mom. So oh. he knew he's going to bring two women to Switzerland.